Let's see if we can do the laws of prosperity. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I got a couple of scriptures here. I don't know which one I need to go to yet. Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Go to Ephesians 3.20. Ephesians 3.20. We're talking about a supernatural God. And we got to take him out of the Cracker Jack box. How many of y'all remember when Cracker Jack used to come in a box? Now they come in a cellophane bag, you know, take all the fun away. The fun was tearing the box up. And they had the little toy in there. You know, you get that little plastic ring or whatever they put in there. And then they give you a little piece of paper. I opened the bag of uh, Cracker Jacks the other day because my grandbaby had some. And I'm looking for the prize. And it was a picture of a baseball. <laughs> a picture of a baseball. I'm going like, this ain't no prize. <laughs> I'm supposed to put that ring on my finger. <laughs> but we got a supernatural God. Now to him. That is able to do. Now, you got to understand that God is able to do. Come on, say, God is able to do. This is why you can't be afraid of what's happening. Because it's got to happen. Whenever, you got, you, whenever you're getting rid of pus, you got to clean it out. We don't like what's happening, but we let it happen. Where we kept, we didn't pray right, we didn't vote right. And we just kind of dismissed up because, you know, I've had some people say lately, they're not even going to vote. And I'm going like, but you're a Christian. You don't, don't complain about anything. I don't never want to hear a complaint from you if you don't plan on voting. You say it's not going to make a difference. It does make a difference because God is counting on you. The exceeding abundantly above all God is waiting on us to do our part. Because he doesn't have a problem being able to do. See, and one thing you got to know that if you're in line with God and you and you obeying him, he's not going to abandon you. You'll never go without. I don't care what's happening out there. I've already settled. I'm not going to miss a meal. I, I'm going to have plenty of water to drink. I'm going to have plenty of gas in my car. And I'm going to have money in my house and in my pocketbook. Amen. See, you, if you don't start seeing yourself correctly in relation to this God that is able to do, you're going to settle again for less than. And you'll live beneath the privileges. Let me tell you something. In this hour, this is going to be the finest hour for the believer. We're going to rise and shine. If you go back and look at Bible history, every time there was a war or some the nation was crumbling, that's when God rose to the occasion and the people of God came to the forefront and they began to lead. It's time for the church to lead again. Mm. I said again because we're not used to hearing it. It's time for the church to lead. <laughs> 